think of better things to run, we'll put the Coligans back in. This isn't a match for Timely. Uh, that's true, Captain. No, Red Arrow, you just, you just, you have to play out your hand. I mean, like, the, the, the most important aspects of balance in Modern are actually, is not the, you make them discard, although you can sometimes. The most important, uh, aspects of the deck, let me show you how it actually shapes. It, it actually has a very interesting curve. These are all things you can do on one mana, like suspending these guys for one white or one red. Uh, these all cost essentially one, the border posts. Leyline in case of Slaver Lock. Um, that's not a bad idea. Seems better than a bunch of, uh, what did I keep in? These aren't a horrible idea. Ricochet Trap is basically, for all intents and purposes, single red mana. Um, that might be better. I don't know if it's better than the Coligans Command, though. But... It's certainly better than the Rift Bolts and the Shrieks. Johnny's great in this matchup. Okay, so then these are your threes. You got Ardent Plea, that's a Cascade spell. Demonic Dread, it's the harder Cascade spell to pull off. And it's kind of why I want to lean back towards Lingering Souls, because I don't really have a good way to utilize this unless I see, like, my Fulminator. So I might want to put in... We'll, we'll talk about it. Maybe I'll cut the Kronos and the Ajani and just try to run with most... win mostly with March of the Machines and Gargadon. There are plenty of matchups that, like, uh, some... There's a bunch of people trying to play Verdict decks in Modern right now. Supreme Verdict-esque control. Um, this is a snap keep, right? I mean, it doesn't have the Cascade spell yet, though, or Draw spell, but I it's just way better than our other hands have been. We get red here because we've got blue-black and blue-white border posts. Um, you don't even necessarily have to go turn one post. You could go turn one suspend Gargadon. Uh, but I'm going to opt to start setting up for the Cascade, so we're going to go with that. We're going to toast that expedition map, no questions asked. That is a quick chew. Oh, we drew the Demonic Dread. That is a good start for us. Alright, so then we will... think of bring to light I haven't seen it Gordon why don't you go ahead and link it bring to light interesting spell skite a little late to the party but you know what you just gave me a demonic dread target so the question is uh, I think you slow roll this because I, I just drew another cascade I think you go mountain suspend gargadon you slow roll this you absolutely slow roll that He's given us a target for the Demonic Dread. He, he probably doesn't know that I run this, though, so... I think Demonic Dread is only playable because there's so many decks in Modern that are creature-based. Uh, most every deck will be creature-based. There are very few decks that don't have any number of creatures. A couple Simeon Spirit Guides could be sweet. It says, oh, Simeon Spirit Guide is sweet. It, le it does let you go off faster, Fizz, and it would help you discard down so that you um, do a better job of getting the, uh, okay, Oblivion Stone. Okay. I mean, he's kind of tapped out. I'm kind of tempted to just Demonic Dread now. Why don't we run Violent Ospert over Dread? Uh, because of the colors, Villager. Black gives you better options. 
Um, we'll talk about that in a moment, though. Living End is better built green. But we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, so you could go Vein Fire, Cast, Return. I'm just trying to get my hand size down. Play. Um, tap, tap, tap. We're going to sacrifice this mountain before I go off, but first I want to put the Dread on the stack. So he's going to discard just one card, unfortunately only one, but we're going to blow up all his lands, we're going to blow up his Spellskite. Restore balance is Geddon, Mind Twist, Wrath of God. Bring to light, search your library for a creature, instant or sorcery. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain, I, I am familiar with the card. People were talking about that one. So while this is on the stack, I'm actually going to sacrifice the Gargadon. Oh, shoot. I, I didn't hold priority, did I? Fudge. He's going to get to keep a land. Yeah. Or, or I must have clicked something. I'm supposed to get a moment there to sacrifice the mountain. If it makes you feel any better. It's fine. I, 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 I haven't played this deck in a long time, so I'm, I'm going to make silly mistakes like that. Batter Skull's pre-ordering a ton. Creature Instant Sorcery. on zero. Okay. I mean, it's not like I'm in huge trouble. Like, I have answers to the chalice. I can also just suspend another Gargadon, just beat him down with nine sevens with haste. They get, they get haste, by the way. Cast the spell, free storm counts as mistress. So we got two guards. Let's keep track of them. They are precious, precious elephant things. Yeah, I guess we just hold up counterflux now and just hope to get there. He didn't have another land drop, though. I mean, I might not get hugely punished, but it, the correct line was obviously to sacrifice the mountain before you finish restoring, resolving the restore balance. Same Legacy. What's up, Crota? I was playing Legacy the other day, uh, but I wasn't streaming. That's true. You guys only see what you see. Who knows, maybe we'll draw a Kronos. That'd be sweet, right? Certainly in the cards. I'm not casting the yard plea. There's a chalice on zero. Which is interesting sideboard tech from my opponent. I don't hate it. It's a good way to mess with living end, I suppose. Although they can just um, beast within that. Right, if you go green, you get uh, beast within. Busy with studies. That's a good thing, Akrota. Okay, we drew a ricochet trap. Pass it back. Ah, oh, he drew a land. Bollocks. Is that a, that's a spell sky? Yeah. yeah. It's fine. I mean, these these guys crashing in can still get there. Ricochet trap. 
These blue trots the only reason I brought this in. This might be the slowest Gargadon ever. Red Arrow, I could actually make the Gargadon come in next turn if I sacrifice all my permanents. I don't think that's worth it, but I can. Ah, Talisman of Dominance. He's starting to get up there on mana. And this is like a mana source I can actually counter. I think I'm supposed to counter this. I'm, I'm gonna counter this. It's it's a it's it's a source of mana I can actually interact with. I'm gonna counter it. He can't remand the Gargan on Red Arrow because I have ricochet traps. Gorilla Shaman, you love that card, man. He can't uh, villain. Yeah, no, no, no. I can ricochet trap remand. I'm not worried about remand. That's why I run ricochet traps. Even I think I was running one main, two in the side. It's specifically for Remand. Uh, correct, Red Arrow. Correct. That is true. Too bad you can't sacrifice enchantments to the Greater Gargadon. It's literally just artifacts, creatures, and lands. I don't know where to put this. I mean, I just I want to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping track of the two. There's two Gargadons. On the stack. Maybe I can make this smaller? No, there we go, that's fine. There we go, that's nicer. Chewer off the top? That would be sweet. Chewer off the top would allow me to Arden Plea with double Ricochet Trap. He did draw another land, unfortunately. Like, that Oblivion Stone is gonna be problems. It'll definitely take out the first Gargadon. If he O-stones me, I'm actually in a lot more trouble because, I mean, it blows up all my border posts. That may be what he's playing to. But if he does that in response, I just make the Gargadons come into play. So it's actually not a huge deal. If he O-stones, he's blowing up his Spell Sky, his Chalice. I get to keep the Mountain. I'll sacrifice all the different border posts to the Gargadon. Let's see what he wants to do. Now, I could have prevented this if I'd sacrificed. It's funny how that's coming back to haunt us here. It, all I had to do was sacrifice the mountain. And he wouldn't have that extra... He wouldn't have had the extra Urza's mine. I think, I think if I'd played this correctly, we would have won this match. Okay, the draw was an Eric Mesa. Okay. Interesting. I get a white source. He wants to put a fake counter on the spell sky. Okay. Void Winnower. No, I haven't. I haven't kept in James. this? Cannot, you cannot even fathom. We can't even, oh, you guys are just so funny today. Can't, I can't even, <laughs> guys, I can't even tell you how lame that is. Uh, I love you all, though, but I can't even begin to, oh. Oh. mouse down, there we go. I can't even begin... Oh, I was supposed to draw the Eric Mesa. Um, okay, so you could Thirst here. 
what enables me to go off this turn? I guess if I blew up the chalice on 